All right, so I'm over at Culver's right now. I just got some food and I'm gonna go for a little bit of a hike today. I wanted to test out the skimbo I got that tracks my movements really well. And I'm gonna go off in the woods. It's a really nice day, it's like 40 degrees. So let's go ahead and get some food in me and then go hiking. So we maybe have about 45 minutes of sunlight. And this is the gimbal I was talking about. So this is actually pretty cool. It will auto stabilize my camera whenever I'm walking or doing anything. As you can see, it kind of moves around. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on right now by pressing this button right here. Then I have to connect it to my phone. So it's already connecting to my phone on my screen. And then I place my camera in there and it makes for some really, really cool shots because I can just move around and stabilize everything real nice instead of having it choppy and bumpy and everything not stable whatsoever. So let's go ahead and put my phone in there and go for a walk. All right, so I finally made it to the trail that I'm gonna be walking on here. And as you can see, it's kind of like by this creek here. And there's a rope that's kind of in there. People like to do that with the rope. Oh, it's pretty slippery over here. And it looks pretty cool in the, the summer here. This trail has been iced over quite a bit. But it's fun walking along this creek. I'd say it's about three or four feet deep right there. So this gimbal does a really good job at tracking my face and keeping everything level. So I'm just walking with it and the sun is just about going down right now. It's 5.45 in Wisconsin. I can't believe there's so much snow on the ground. It's been like 40 degrees the last couple of days here. A lot of snow has melted quite a bit. So this gimbal works out really well. I was thinking about getting one for my GoPro, but it seems like with the GoPro 9, the auto stabilization inside the camera itself is really, really, really good. So I just got this one for my smartphone and it seems to be working out well. You can always upgrade your smartphone. It's not too difficult. And it seems like with the, you know, the whole upgrading your smartphone kind of thing, the cameras in them are so good where I don't really need a really fancy Sony DSLR camera anymore. I can just upgrade my smartphone and I pretty much have something that's just as good or better nowadays. All right, so here is the bridge. Probably gonna slip on this ice. It's pretty sweet. Look how nice this gimbal is. Sweet dude, huh? Absolutely love it. So let's look over at the creek now. Let's see if my camera falls. Over here. Look at that. I get a nice panning shot here. I wonder what kind of fish are in this little creek. I see small minnows. That's about it. And then it gets really high over here sometimes and it'll go on the path. You know, kind of like a walk through it. All the water will be here during the summer. All right, looks like someone brought their dog here. A lot of these little nature preserves, they're not allowed to have dogs on them for some reason. I think it's because they run at people or something when you're walking on the paths. They'll, they'll just see someone and they'll go off and run on them. Oh, well, looks like someone was uh, snowshoeing here. Oh, some big footprints. Yeah, that's a snowshoe, I believe. I wonder why they need a snowshoe. I mean, this is perfect. It's only like an inch or more. That's probably more than an inch. Yeah. Pretty high. Yeah. So I'll do one lap around here, get about two or three miles in for the day. Let's look at the moon up there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There it is, coming through the trees. Isn't that cool? Love that.